What up, guys? My name's Kevin. And I'm Chris. And we're Cruise Tube 710. And today, we'll be reviewing Dab Life's 6 inch recycle. Yeah, so I recently picked up this little guy from the Dab Lifestyle. Uh, it's 6 inches tall, sports a 10 mil nail joint, and we're going to do a little review and talk about this new little piece. Um, first of all, I want to start with, this is my first recycler, and um, I always wanted one, and I'm really stoked to have one. I really love the function. As everybody says, they're freaking awesome, and they really are. Uh, just to be able to get that sort of a pull and without getting splash back is pretty freaking great. Um, yeah, clean rips. The water really helps diffuse it. Yeah, I definitely say clean rips, a lot of flavor too. Definitely yeah. a flavor intense piece. Um, but yeah, let's uh, let's go in on some of the stats for this guy. So price is gonna be eighty nine dollars ninety five cents. Uh, Dab Lifestyle currently has a twenty percent off coupon if you follow them on Instagram. So. That took it down to like seventy dollars, and then their shipping's free, so it was like seventy dollars out the door. That's a steal. Yeah, it's a pretty good deal. I definitely recommend this piece to somebody who wants a little inexpensive rig. It's definitely worth it. Um, so far, from my experience. But so also, it came with this dope little dome. I really like, special specifically for domes. I really like domes that aren't sandblasted because if you've used a dome and nail setup before. I bet you know that they freaking love to stick together once you get your piece cleaned up and waxed up. Obviously your piece isn't going to be clean like this all the time. Yeah, I mean, my Tomahawk just to started doing that all the time with the sandblast at home. Yep. Gotta keep that clean. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> you, you have to, it's one of those things where it's just like, it's a little thing, but it's a really nice little touch to definitely okay. make that dome a better piece. I also love that the dome is matching the red, looks really good. Has a nice little handle. I mean, some people are a fan of that, some aren't. But you know, it's just it's a good a nice little, handle. good little dome. It's a grip. But yeah, getting getting back to uh, some of the stats, it is six inches tall, ten millimeter. We went over all that. Uh, has a diffused percolator right here too. And also, it comes with well, at least for me, they gave me one of these sweet little. Um, rig mats. I freaking dropped a nail on it and put a freaking circle in it, but yeah, it's definitely a nice little freebie. Uh, so first impressions from them as a store are good too. They also have stuff that's in the more expensive range. Looks like they have pieces for like a thousand dollar range. So yeah, it looks like just about everything price wise that you would want to spend, they have something in that area. But enough talking, let's get let's get going in on some dabs. What are you dabbing on today, bro? I'm dabbing on the same stuff you're dabbing on. Mix with platinum, push, and lavender, and it's amazing. Yeah, really fire oil, guys. Um, one thing I always want to emphasize too is make sure you're getting your oil from somebody who's running a closed loop and running good shit. Make sure you're getting it from someone you trust, and that it's not just your boy out in his garage blasting seeds. You know, you really want to make sure you're not getting anything that's got any solvents left. And this has been like absolutely phenomenal. Super stable, nug run, great flavor. You know, just everything you want in a nice, uh, in a nice oil. Bar. Yeah, let's get this guy heated up. Yeah, that that torch is great. Awesome. <laughs> yeah, I mean, we'll get a review out for it soon. But I've had the stoke torch since I believe I picked it up on uh, April twentieth sale last year. Yeah, you did. I remember that. Yeah, one of the local head shops, and before I was using like this little shitty ten dollar. Torch from China, and definitely it's coming clutch. I've heard people talk about the igni igniters going out, but it's been good by me. Well, let's get this dab. <laughs> what do you think, man? <laughs> that is so smooth. Yeah. It's always funny when people say <laughs> so, so smooth right as they're popping, but yeah, it, it definitely does produce a rip that I haven't seen on a smaller piece, you know? No, it's very, it's smoother. Get, the, get it out, get it out. <laughs> yeah, but I mean, definitely for me, I noticed that these little rigs like hit real hard, and I like that a lot. I like the flavor on the these. The flavor's also, <laughs> you still dead, man? 
The flavor is also amazing. It's incredible how much of it just stays in there because it's so small. Yeah, also, yeah, getting back to recyclers too, it's like, it's awesome that you're, <laughs> you've got your um, vaporized wax in contact with water coming up through here and into here, so it's really only got this much space to like condense or go stale, as some people would say. <coughs> and I, I really like that a lot. I think it gives you the feel of using a big rig because of how well it functions, but the flavor of a using rig. like a little pendant rig or something. Yeah. I mean, we're also going to show a close-up shot of the function of this, <coughs> and you'll see just how clean it is and how perfectly it all works together. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna do that right now. So we will see you after that. Bam. Alright guys, we're back. I'm not dead anymore. Yeah, we had to take a few minutes to let uh, Kevin get the coughs out of his system. Um, and water. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so next time, next video, we're not going to kill ourselves for you unless we're going to say we're going to do that so we can get through the rest of it. But anyway guys, I'm going to get a little dab on this uh, rig and Kevin's going to give you some more chit chat about it. Uh, I'm going to be going in on the same wax as Kevin, but uh, yeah. I mean, it's just a great ring. This is only the second dab I've taken off it, honestly. But that percolator with the recycler setup is just perfect. It creates the perfect amount of bubbling so that you don't have to pull too hard if you have the right amount of water in there, and you still get the water recycling perfectly. And I mean, it's just a clean end. Mm -hmm. Definitely, I'd say recyclers that function correctly definitely deliver one of the best kits. Yeah. It's just one of those things where uh, it's just a great design, you know? Yeah, it is. And I mean, all the joints are cleanly blown. Yeah, I noticed that too. Big ups to them. No bubbles in the joints. This isn't. This is this is a good deal, guys. We're not talking about some shitty glass right here. Like, no, it's this just is quality. this is. Yeah, for the price, it's this is obviously like not like a freaking Toro or a Hitman. This isn't like high end, but if you want to drop like under a hundred dollars on a rig, this is definitely it sports a lot of features for the price tag. Yeah, for a recycler that size to hit that well, yep. for that price. Yeah, it's definitely a little piece. Well, I'm gonna get a rip on this, guys. Cheers. Hope you're smoking with me. Alright guys, we'll see you next time. We'll see you in the next video. Peace!